Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Vinay. In this video, I'll talk about the revived ISC Computer Science syllabus of class 12 for the year 2024. The revised syllabus can be found on the website of CISCE. Changes have been made in all three sections, that is section A, B and C. However, major changes have been made in section C. This means that students will have less material to cover, which will give them more time to focus on the other important concepts. Let's go through the changes one by one. The first change is in the Boolean algebra of section A and here the change is that chain rule and mode exponents has been removed. This is the only change in section A. The next change is in section B and here the string tokenizer class has been removed. This particular change in my opinion has been long overdue as Java documentation has declared it as a legacy class since Java 6. Note that the current stable version of Java is Java 20 and I have been anticipating this since the year 2006 when this was declared as a legacy class. This is a documentation page of the class string tokenizer from Java 6 and if we move down you can see that it clearly says String tokenizer is a legacy class that is retained for compatibility reasons. Although its use is discouraged in the new code, it is recommended that anyone seeking this functionality uses the split method of string or the java.util.regex package instead. So, extracting tokens from an input stream using string tokenizer is no more in the syllabus. But if you want to extract words, you can either do it manually by using scar at inside a loop or we can use the split method of the string class. I have already made a video on how to extract words from a sentence using the split method of string class and you can find the link to that video in the description below. And believe me, you will be surprised by the simplicity of the split method over the string tokenizer class. Split method is a very powerful method of extracting tokens and you have to type a lot less. The next change in section B is that the class string buffer has also been removed. Note that the language used earlier was the class string buffer should be introduced for those applications that involved heavy manipulation of string, which implies that now modification in a string via the string buffer will not be tested. However, if you already know that class, then you might use it in practicals to make your task easier, but the use of the class in theory paper must be avoided. Now let us move to changes in section C. The first major change is that interfaces are now only there in the syllabus as a concept, meaning that you won't be required to use them in implementation. That is, you will not need to declare and implement interfaces in your program. You are just required to know what interfaces are and the difference between the language construct interface and the word interface often used to describe the set of method prototypes of a class. The next change of section C is in data structures where circular queue and DQ has been removed from the syllabus and they have emphasized that only stack and linear queue is in the syllabus now. Also notice that since interfaces are now removed, the data structures still in the syllabus must be implemented directly through classes without declaring abstract classes and implementing the interfaces. Single link list has also been removed completely. That is both conceptually and implementation wise from the syllabus. However, binary tree is there in the syllabus in the conceptual sense and the implementation of binary tree that is programming is not there in the syllabus. The last change is that big O notation has been removed from the syllabus and now the students are only supposed to have the concept of complexity and analysis of algorithms in terms of big O is not there in the syllabus anymore. So, we see that most of the changes are in section C 
and considering that section C is of just 10 marks out of 70 in the theory examination, this seems to be justified in terms of the effort required for 10 marks. And that's it. You now know the changes in the revised ISC Computer Science syllabus for the year 2024. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about the revived ISC Computer Science syllabus, please feel free to contact me. Thank you for your time. Your feedback is valuable to me. I want to make sure that my videos are clear and helpful. You can follow me on the internet on any one or all of these channels.